What is good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, and today for this new year, we're about to cook up a soul sample from scratch. And as always, let's make this thing super smooth, super soulful. It feels like it's been a minute since I did a sample, so let's see what we can come up with for this sample. So I want you guys to sit back and relax, and I hope you guys enjoy this beat making video. Let's go. So as always, when I do my samples, I like to start out with a drum pattern. And most of you already know my favorite go-to for my drums are addictive drums. And this preset is actually called the old school perk. And this is a drum pattern that I came up with. It's got a nice little bounce to it. And um, also, you guys see, I got addictive keys right here, then I got a vinyl effect. And then addictive keys right here is what we're gonna be using for the piano. And you guys know I love to use the modern upright when it comes to doing soul samples. It's just like the perfect mix for soul samples. So let's come up with some creative and let's get this started. Now, for some reason in Cubase, you always gotta cut off the end of the notes because once it transitions back to the beginning, you get like almost like only one note hitting, which is weird. But let's go ahead and play some notes over top of that, um, just to add some more flavor to this. Sound dope. It's time to move on to the bass line. And you already know what bass I'm using, the Native Instruments Rickenbacker bass. It's different presets actually in here, but I always just stick with the default one, which is the Neck Pure DI. Let's go and come up with something pretty cool. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Turn the volume up on that one right here. I think I was gonna make a dip right here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... So now I want to add in an electric piano and I opened up the Roland 5080. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used this thing in such a long time, but I found this pretty cool sound that like underwater electric piano. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this, but it's preset A number 23, it's called Fuko EP. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is what it sounds like. That's a nice, you know, wah wah underwater effect. Let's get this going. That wah wah um, really adds a nice touch to it, man. So after adding in that electric piano with some wah wah on it, I decided like, let's go ahead and add in a wah wah guitar using Orange Tree Samples Evolution Hollow Body. As you see right here on the screen, I got it loaded up. And this preset is actually called the Deep C. And I decided to add to it a guitar rig FG Auto Wah Clout. And this is what it sounds like. Of course, if you play around with the modulation and pitch bend, you can make it go crazy. Hopefully this comes out fire. I'm 
I'm not sure if I want to keep that double hit right here. I'm not sure. I feel like it's kind of doing too much. Let's just leave it for now. All right, guys, so now it's time to add in the string. And we'll be using Roland's SRX Orchestra. And this VST actually has some pretty nice, you know, different strings in there. I was kind of going through them, and the one I chose was uh, patch number 41. Has some nice reverb on it. Said, it's so many different patches in here like you I mean look at this it's got strings you know um it's got drums and yeah I mean it's a lot of nice strings and they got some nice horns in here also it's about that time to add in some vocals for the vocals I will be using East West backup singers and I'm gonna go ahead and just use a basic vowel ooh and just keep it real simple and I'm gonna play those same exact chords which I played with the piano earlier these are basically gonna be background vocals because I do plan on having like a lead vocal on top of this to do is I like to add my own effect and reverb outside of the East West program they have some pretty decent reverb and stuff like that but I just prefer um, to have my own so what I want to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and render it down and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move it up and I'm gonna go ahead and add some CLA to it Final piece of this puzzle, we're about to go ahead and add in that lead vocal, which I just talked about. For the lead vocal, I will be using Contact, that old Contact Bank that you guys keep asking me about, the old Gospel Contact Bank. I'm sorry y'all still haven't found the name. I've been searching and I've been searching, I still haven't found it. I found a few old Gospel Contact Banks, but I don't think they're it. Once I get the actual name, I'll let you guys know. But we're about to go ahead and add in these little vocals, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. that time to get this track arranged and I think I'm probably gonna speed this track up I'm not gonna add any drums or nothing to it I'm gonna kind of leave it in this raw state just so you guys can get a feel for it but let's go ahead and hop back into this so you guys can check out what the finished product gonna sound like
wraps up this beat making video. I do hope you guys enjoyed that. I think this sample came out fire, but I'm definitely gonna do some tweaking to it. As far as the arrangement, you know, with the bass line, I think I'm gonna add more to that bass line. It sounds good though, but I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and just switch it up just a little bit. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this beat making video, go ahead and give it a like, and give it a thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you go and subscribe because I will be coming back with another beat making very, very soon. I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man, Big Boy Tracks, right here at The Producer's Life. And I want to wish you guys a happy new year, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.